One of the saddest phenomena in psychological life is parents bullying their own children, often without realizing it. They do so to alleviate their own intense suffering, targeting the very areas where they themselves feel inadequate. The twisted logic behind this misguided project of healing is that making their child feel bad will make them feel better. It doesn't make sense, but it temporarily works for the parent. Imagine a parent who fears being perceived as stupid due to past experiences of belittlement. When their own child exhibits normal hesitations and weaknesses, the parent becomes inflamed, attacking what they fear in themselves. They find temporary relief by projecting their inadequacies onto the child. The child becomes a receptacle for everything the parent cannot tolerate in themselves, dumb, stupid, and ugly. The child, however, grows up internalizing these judgments without realizing they were bullied by their own parent, someone they depend on and long to be loved by. They simply believe they are stupid, ugly, and soiled, with no understanding of the cause behind their feelings. For those who were bullied, there is a tendency to focus on the present and future rather than looking back. The echoes of past events manifest in their anticipation of terrible things happening to them. They become self-haters, worriers, and paranoiacs, driven by fear. The imprints of unconscious history shape their fears and self-perception. To overcome bullying, we must learn to discern what truly belongs to us and what was imposed upon us. We need to differentiate between who we are and what we've been told we are, between the facade of our caregivers and their actual actions. Our triggers and anxieties trace back to our early traumas, guiding us toward understanding our past suffering. It is tragic that children can be bullied by their own parents and yet remain unaware of what happened to them. As a result, they often fall victim to similar dynamics in their later lives, perpetuated by substitute figures like partners, colleagues, or even the media. The journey to overcoming bullying begins when we can finally say, I am not ugly. I was made to feel unacceptable. I haven't done anything wrong. Something wrong was done to me. And overall, I am not awful. Something awful happened to me.